Hey all, this is part five, and we're going to be checking if a property is present in an object. So previously we had done index of for strings and arrays. Uh, in an object, kind of the way that it's set up is that you don't need to check all of the uh, keys in an object to determine if something is present because you can't have duplicate keys. So an object provides you the ability to ask it, hey, do you have this key? And it will and forgive me for this language, in constant time, meaning that it doesn't rely on how big the object is. It, it's a constant amount of work to be like, hey, I have a property there, here's the value, or no, I don't, it's undefined. So uh, with that in mind, the value of a key is by default undefined for any key when checking inside of an object. So let's have a couple looks at that. One with a rather esoteric example, meaning not really connected to any context. And let's slide this over to get some, got our object value for a key that is not present. So object at X, there is no key called X. So we're going to see that it's undefined and we're going to do a couple other checks. One is to see if the value at X is undefined by comparing object at X to undefined using triple equals. And we're also going to check to see if B is defined, meaning, Hey, is B present within our object? If it is, we note that the comparison between object at B not equals undefined is going to be true. So undefined for an, a key that's not present, true when we compare a key that's not present to undefined, and true when we compare a key that is present with the opposite of undefined. And, and that's a really weird way to say it, but we're just comparing to see if they're not the same, uh, to see if object at B is not equal to undefined. And because B is defined, we're gonna get true for this comparison. So let's talk about an object with a little bit more spice to it. Birthday plan for an introvert. Activity is going to be watching a TV marathon. Food enough for maybe one or two people. Going out is going to be false. So we'll set reservations to be equal to birthday plan for an introvert dot reservations. And we'll see undefined because they don't need reservations to watch TV at home. Uh, reservations are undefined is going to be comparison between reservations this value this variable that we saved birthday plan for an introvert at reservations into and then activity is defined is going to be birthday plan for an introvert introvert dot activity is not equal to undefined so that's going to be true so if we run all of these we're going to see one undefined two is true reservations are undefined and activity is defined meaning birthday plan for an introvert at activity or dot activity is not equal to undefined, and that's going to be true. So with that in mind, we're going to complete a function that takes in two parameters, an object and a key, and returns the object, returns whether the object has a property at the given key. Your function should create an is present variable and assign it to a comparison between the object's value at the given key and, and undefined, and return the is present variable. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function is property present. So here's our more than more complicated than usual test cases. And here's our function stub. So same idea, we'll grab our function stub. And if we don't have a function stub, the first case obviously would be to write the function stub. Then we're going to grab our test cases. I shouldn't say obviously. Eventually we will get to a point where you want to write the function stub yourself then do your test cases, then do your pseudocode, then write the function. But for now, since we already have the stub with pseudocode, we grab that, then we grab our test cases, and then we get to work. We got two versions, one uh, where the is property is present, uh, first one where it is not present, and second one where it is present. And these can start to give you a hint of exactly what the function should do, whether it should return true or false, kind of can be your understanding of that could be aided by uh, examining the test cases and seeing what the suggested output is for you know, various examples. Create an is present variable, assign it to a comparison between the object's value at the key, which is going to be object at key, and undefined. So we'll say is equal to undefined. Now, the reason we're going to write it like that is because it just has a comparison. So let's see if this is the comparison that they're looking for. So then once we return the is present variable, if we run this, should log false is true and should log true is false. So we obviously have made an incorrect comparison. Rather than checking to see if the property is present, we're checking to see if the property is not present. So in order to reverse that, we can say object at key is not equal to undefined. Now when we run this, we should get the correct responses. 
Excellent. Let's come back here, paste it in, and that roasts our zucchini. Excellent work, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.